This information is for young children who need radiotherapy treatment. It tells the story of Will and Sophie who have radiotherapy. Today, Will is going to hear about his treatment called radiotherapy. He will meet some new people in hospital called radiographers. A girl called Sophie sits next to Will. She is having radiotherapy to her tummy and says everyone is very friendly. Will tells Sophie he is also having radiotherapy to his head. A radiographer called Dawn asks Will to follow her into the room with a big machine. Before we start your treatment, we need to make a mask for your head to help you lie still. Will the mask hurt? asks Will. No, let me show you what we're going to do, says Dawn. Dawn says, first, we warm the plastic and then lie it over your face like a warm wet flannel. The plastic keeps the shape of your head, so when it cools down, it will only fit your head. This will help you to lie in exactly the same place each time you come. Dawn says that Will has to lie on his back for his treatment. Other children might need to lie on their tummies. If he was younger and couldn't lie still, he would need medicine to make him go to sleep each time he had treatment. The radiographers talk to Will all the time while making his mask, telling him what is happening so he isn't worried. When the mask is finished, he waits outside to have a scan of the inside of his head. Will sees Sophie and tells her about his mask. I'm not having a mask, says Sophie, but I am having coloured marks put on my tummy. I'm going to lie on a beanbag each time to keep me in the same position. After Will and Sophie have their scans, they go home. The doctor looks at the scans of Will's head and Sophie's tummy and draws on where radiotherapy is needed. The radiographers will use these plans every time Will and Sophie have their treatment. Will comes back for a practice session. He lies on the bed and wears his mask. His bed is moved to the right position, which is fun. Will lies very still for a few minutes whilst the radiographers take an x-ray, which looks inside his body. It is very quick and doesn't hurt, and the radiographers watch all the time from outside the room. They tell Will that he has done very well and he is ready to start his treatment soon. When Will and Sophie come to have their first treatment, they know what to do and are very good at lying still. They get used to being on their own in the room when the treatment is given. They know the radiographers can see them all the time on a screen and can talk to them whenever they aren't in the room. Each treatment is quick and there is nothing to see or feel. In fact, it can be quite boring, so both Will and Sophie bring their favourite music or stories to listen to. They have one treatment every day for several weeks, with a break at weekends. Will and Sophie meet up nearly every day. Sometimes they see the doctor to check how they are getting on with the treatment. If there is time, Will and Sophie both go to school after their treatments. If Will can't get to school, his friends come to play with him instead. Will looks forward to seeing his friends very much. He tells them that radiotherapy does not make him radioactive. When treatment finishes, Will and Sophie are pleased it's over, but sad to say goodbye to all the new people they've met. I hope to see you again, Sophie, says Will. Their mummies promise they will all meet up to play and have tea soon.